Chukua Biblia yako na nikukaribisha mahali popote ulipo ungane pamoja nasi mahali hapa kwa ajili sasa kulisikiliza neno la Mungu. Take your Bible and I welcome you all from every side that you're watching. Let us hear the word of God. Tutaanza na kitabu cha Luka. We're going to start with the book of Luke. Sura ya 5 na ule mstari wa 17. Chapter 5 verse 17 Kitabu cha Luka sura ya 5 mstari wa 17 tutasoma mpaka hapo mstari wa chini wa 26 The book of Luke chapter 5 verse 17 we're going to read all the way to verse 26 Kama unaandika andika mamlaka ya kufungua If you're writing down today message is the authority of deliverance mamlaka ya kufungua the authority of de- deliverance ikawa siku zile moja wapo walikuwa kifundisha na mafarisayo na waalimu wa Torati walikuwa wameketi hapo waliotoka katika kila kijiji cha Galilaya na ya Uyahudi na Yerusalem na uweza wa Bwana ulikuwepo apate kuponya verse 17 it say one day he was teaching Pharisees and teachers were there who came from all the village of Galilee and the Judah and the might power was there for he can heal Natazama wakaja watu wanamchukua kitandani mtu mwenye kupoza wakataka kumpeleka ndani na kumweka mbele yake hata alipokosa nafasi ya kumpeleka ndani kwa ajili ya lile kundi la watu walipanda juu ya dani wakampisha katika matofali ya juu wakamshusha ye na kitanda chake katikati mbele ya Yesu And came men carrying a paralyzed man before Jesus when they couldn't find a way in they carried him to the roof and dropped him before the Lord Naye alipoiona imani yao alimwambia eh rafiki umesamehewa dhambi zako basi wale waandishi na mafarisayo wakaanza kuhojiana wakisema ni nani huyu asemaye maneno ya kukufuru ni nani awezaye kusamehe dhambi isipokuwa Mungu peke yake And when Jesus saw their faces say wake up because your sin has been forgiven and when the Pharisees saw this they asked themselves among them who is this kind of a person can forgive sin because it's only God the one that can forgive Na Yesu alijua hoja zao akajibu akawaambia mnahojiana nini mioyoni mwenu lililo jepesi ni lipi kusema umesamehewa dhambi zako au kusema ondoka uende uondoke uende And Jesus knew their argument so he asked them which is easier for you to say your sins are forgiven or to say get up and walk away Lakini mpate kujua ya kwamba mwana wa Adamu anayo amri duniani ya kusamehe dhambi alimwambia yule mwenye kupoza na kuambia ondoka jitwike kitanda chako uende zako nyumbani kwako maana hiyo mara hiyo akasimama mbele yao akajitwika kile alichokilalia akaenda zake nyumbani kwake huku akimtukuza Mungu So they can know that the son of man is given the authority to forgive he told them sick person carry your mattress and go for you are healed Msaru wa 26 na wa mwisho anasema ushangao ukawashika wote wakamtukuza Mungu wakajaa hofu wakisema leo tumeona mambo ya ajabu Everyone was amazed and give praise to God they all felt uh, and said we have seen remarkable things today sema amina say amen tunataka kuongelea kidogo mamlaka ya kufungua we are going to speak about the authority of healing of deliverance mamlaka ya kufungua ni mamlaka iliyo kuu na ambayo imejidhihirisha kwenye biblia inayotoka kwa mungu mwenyewe The authority of deliverance is written in the Bible that is the authority that comes only from God himself. Biblia inatuambia ule mstari wa 17. The Bible tells us in the verse 17. Likuwa ni moja wapo ya siku ambazo alikuwa akifundisha na mafarisayo walikuepo na walimu wa sheria walikuepo wameketi hapo. It was one of the day that Jesus was teaching so the Pharisees and teachers of law were there. Na watu hao walitoka maeneo tofauti tofauti katika Israeli. And these people came from different sides of the country of Israel. Wengine walitoka kila kijiji cha Galilaya Biblia nasema. Some of them came from the village of Galilee the Bible says. Na wengine wa Yahudi. And some from Jude. Na wengine Yerusalem. And some from Jerusalem. 
kutoka Yerusalemu mpaka Galilaya kuna hatua ndefu kama masaa mawili from, Gal- uh, from Jerusalem to Galilee it's about two hours uh, walking distance naposoma habari hii nakumbuka jinsi ambavyo nilitoka Jerusalemu wakati tulikuwa tunakwenda Galilaya kwenye ile bahari ama ile eh, ziwa la Galilaya When I speak about this uh, gospel I remember when I was in Israel visiting so we were walking from Jerusalem to visit the uh, side of Galilee. Ambapo Yesu alifanya mambo mengi katika mji ule wa Galilaya au kwenye ile bahari karibu na Galilaya. On that ocean of Galilee is where Jesus performs a lot of miracles. Watu hao walikusanyika hapo. These people were gathered here. Na kilichofanya Mungu ama Yesu aonekane wa tofauti siku hiyo And what caused Jesus to be seen different on that day? Ni ule uweza wake uliojifunua kwa ajili ya kuponya. It was his might power that revealed the power to heal. Biblia nasema The Bible says Na uweza wa Bwana ulikuepo apate kuponya. And the power of God was there for he can heal. Kwa hiyo mafundisho yake So his teaching yaliambatana na uweza wa Mungu kwa ajili ya kuwaponya wanadamu. Was attached with the power of God to able to heal mankind. Biblia inasema uweza wa Bwana. The Bible says the power of the Lord. Na wewe umeona Biblia yako mahali hapo? Have you seen the Bible in your Bible ule that is written? Wa mishoni, on the verse 17 at the last line of the verse 17. Anasema na uweza wa Bwana ulikuwako apate kuponya. He says the power of the Lord was there for he can heal. Na maana si kila wakati uweza wa Bwana unakuaga unajifunua ili kufanya jambo fulani. That means the power of God does not come every time for you can able to do something. Lakini makusanyiko hayo yote ambao watu walitoka vijiji vya Galilaya, walitoka Yahudi yote, walikuja mpaka kutoka Yerusalemu, walikusanyika maelfu ya watu na uweza wa Mungu ulikuepo apate kuponya. But this uh, people that gathered together this multitude from Galilee, from Jerusalem and from Jude were gathered but the power of God was there for Jesus can heal people. Uweza ni nini? What is uh, What is power? Maana sema uweza wa Bwana ulikuepo. Because he says the power of God, the power of the Lord was there. Nini maana ya uweza wa Bwana? What does it mean when we say the power of God? Hapa inaonyesha ni nguvu ya kimamlaka. Here it shows that is the power of authority. Ni nguvu ya kimamlaka ya kuingilia kati na kutatua ama kuondoa tatizo. It's the power of authority that comes from God to able to intervene either to to finish the uh, the, 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 the problem. Hebu sema amina kama unanielewa. Please say amen if you understand. Manake watu walikuja na mateso yao. That means people came with their troubles. Watu walikuja na vifungo mbalimbali. People came with their chains. Na hawakujua namna ambavyo wanaweza kutoka kwenye vifungo vya namna hiyo. They were not aware of how they could come out of the situation. Lakini wakakutana na kitu kinachoitwa uweza wa Mungu ama uwezo wa Bwana. But they encounter something called the power of the Lord. Na uweza huo and that power ulikuwa ni wa tofauti sana. It was different. Lakini uweza ule ulikuwa kazi yake ni kuja kuponya. But that power it work was come and heal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo uweza ni nguvu ya kimamlaka. So power its authority inayepita mamlaka ile iliyowafunga wale waliofungwa walioko hapo. The passes the power that have chained people that were around. Ambayo ina uwezo wa kuingilia kati na kutatua ama na kuondoa matatizo yao. That can intervene and bring solution to whatever problem. Hebu sema amina kama unanielewa. Please say amen if you understand. Hebu sema amina tena kama unaelewa. Say amen once again if you understand. Leo uweza wa kifalme utakuepo mahali hapa kila aliye na kifungo kitaondoka. Today the authority of the kingdom of God gonna be in this place and whoever that is in chain the chain will flee away. Hebu sema uweza wa kifalme. Say the power of the kingdom. Sema kwa sauti uweza wa kifalme. Say this loudly the power of the kingdom. Mungu anapoongea juu ya uweza wa Bwana kuna upande mwingine imeandikwa uweza wa kifalme When God is talking about the power he so there's a side the Bible says the power of the kingdom Biblia inapoandika uweza wa kifalme maana yake ni uwezo unaopita falme zote duniani When the Bible says the power of the kingdom that means it overpasses all kind of power Uno, that is on the sun and the sun uweza wa falme zote kwenye ulimwengu wa roho za adui shetani And it passes all the kingdom of the satan in the spiritual realm Tuangalie uwezo mwingine unaoitwa wa kifalme. Let's see another power that is called the power of the kingdom. Katika kitabu cha Isaya, in the book of Isaiah, sura ya 9, chapter 9. Tuanze na ule mstari wa sita. Let's start from verse 6. Naweza kusoma wa sita peke yake tu. We can read verse 6 only. 
Umefika? Are you there? Biblia naandika inasema. The Bible writer says. Kwa maana kwa ajili yenu mtoto amezaliwa. For us a child is born. Tumepewa mtoto mwanaume na uweza wa kifalme utakuwa begani mwake. We are given a male child and as a power of the kingdom shall be on his shoulders. Naye ataitwa jina lake mshauri wa ajabu, Mungu mwenye nguvu, Baba wa milele, Mfalme wa amani. And he shall be called the wonderful counselor, mighty God, uh, the king of, uh, of peace. Jina la Yesu Kristo. The name of Jesus Christ ni jina ambalo Mungu alimpa Kristo. Is the name that God himself gave Christ, Jesus Christ. Mwanzo aliitwa neno la Mungu. On the beginning he was called the word of God. Wasomaji wa Biblia wanaelewa? Bible readers understand this. Katika kitabu cha Yohana sura ya kwanza. In the book of John chapter 1 inasema hapo mwanzo kulikuwako na neno. He said in the beginning there was a word. Naye neno alikuwako kwa Mungu. And the word was with God. Naye neno alikuwa Mungu. And the word was God. Kwa hiyo kabla hajaja katika mwili wa damu na nyama duniani Yesu Kristo. Therefore before he came to flesh and blood Jesus Christ. Azaliwe na mwanamke. For he could be uh, he could be born through a woman. Kwa utaratibu kama Mungu alivyomuumba mwanaume na mwanamke. Has a culture that God created between a man and a woman. Yeye alikuwa ni neno. He was a word. Lilokuwa kwa Mungu. That was to, with God. Biblia sema likauvaa mwili maana yake akazaliwa kibinadamu. The Bible say I put on a flesh that means he was born. Mtoto huyu anayezaliwa. And this child that was Ndiyo born. Ndio maana mama Jusi waliona nyota yake kule mashariki. That's why this uh, mama Jusi saw his light from the east. Ndio maana tunaona na wachungaji waliokuwa wanachunga mifugo wakitokewa na malaika wakiambiwa ya kwamba mtoto amezaliwa. That's why we see people that were pasturing were appeared by angels and told be told a son is born nachotaka utazame I, what i want you to see uone biblia ilivyomweleza yesu alivyokuwa mtoto mdogo alikuja na kitu gani to, to understand what the bible speaks when jesus came he came with word was Anasema, package kwa ajili yenu mtoto amezaliwa he said for your sake the child have born hebu sema kwa ajili yetu He said for us yesu hakuja kwa ajili ya ulimwengu wa roho alikuja kwa ajili yetu Jesus did not come for the spiritual realm. He came for us. Yesu hakuja kwa wale ambao sasa hawapo duniani ama kwa ajili ya nani? Alikuja kwa ajili ya wanadamu walioko duniani. Jesus did not come for those that are no more. He came for the men that are still under the sun. Hebu sema kwa ajili yangu. Say for me. Kwa ajili yetu tukiwa wengi. For us as a multitude. Kwa ajili yenu for us mtoto amezaliwa a child is born tumepewa mtoto mwanaume we are given a male child na uweza wa kifalme utakuwa juu yake and the authority of the kingdom of god is upon his shoulders anataja uwezo wa kiungu unaweza kumtambulisha yeye ni ana kitu gani he is mentioned the authorities that introduce who he is Unanielewa kitu nasema? Do you understand what I'm saying? Unanielewa kitu nasema? Do you understand what I'm saying? Unaweza kaa umembeba Yesu lakini hujui uwezo alionao au hujui uwezo alionao Yesu alie ndani yako. You may be carrying Jesus and you lack to understand the power that he carries the one who is in you. Ngoja nikwambie kitu cha Let me tell you something very. Nimesema tunaokoka kwa neema. The Bible says we are being saved by the grace. Si kwa matendo awaye yote asije akajisifu. Not by any action so no one should not Na, praise himself. Kisha ukoka hiyo neema Mungu aliyekupa. So once you are saved is a grace that God gives you. Unakuwa na kitu cha ajabu sana kinachoitwa ufalme. You carry something very amazing called the kingdom. Unakuwa na mtu anaitwa ana ufalme. You carry somebody that carries the kingdom. Angalia anasema uweza wa kifalme utakuwa begani mwake. He says the power of the kingdom lies on his shoulders. Sema uweza wa kifalme. Says the power of the kingdom utakuwa begani mwake. Will be on his shoulders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watu wengi wanajua watu hasa maaskari. Most people know especially the police officers ama wale watu wa jeshi or the people that works with, with army utambua askari huyu ukubwa wake ama cheo chake kwa kuangalia mabega yake you gonna know the level of these people when you look at their shoulders ndipo utajua mtu huyu ana cheo cha aina gani is then you gonna understand the position that they carry hallelujah hallelujah lakini uwezo wa kristo wenyewe unatambulishwa hapa mtoto yule atakayezaliwa atakuwa na uwezo wa kifalme begani mwake but here jesus christ is born and be introduced that the kingdom of god is it is on his shoulders hallelujah 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 naye ataitwa jina lake mshauri wa ajabu and he shall be called the wonderful counselor mungu mwenye nguvu mighty 
God. Baba wa milele. Internal father. Angalia narudiwa tena mfalme wa amani. And the prince of peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa neno uweza wa kifalme. Now the power of the kingdom. Ni nguvu ya kimamlaka ya Mungu iliyo juu ya falme zote. Is the power of the authority that is over passes all kind of kingdoms. Agano jipya. In the new covenant. Kwenye Luka tano mstari wa 17. In the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 17. Ndio sababu uweza wa Bwana ulikuepo apate kuponya. The Bible says the power of God the Lord was there for he could heal. Kwa maana mengine ni nguvu ya kimamlaka ya kuingilia kati na kutatua ama kuondoa matatizo waliokuwa nayo. Another word is the power of God is that power of authority that intervenes and brings solutions. Hebu sema amina. Please say amen. Ndio maana tunaona hapo. That's why we see here anatajwa kitu gani alichokibeba something that jesus carries was introduced ndio maana anasema kwa ajili yenu mtoto amezaliwa that's why he say for us the son uh, the child was was born kwenye matayo in matthew anatajwa kama immanueli mungu pamoja na wanadamu he's been introduced as emmanuel god with a human kind na agano jipya anasema kwa ajili yenu mtoto amezaliwa maana yake yule atakaye kuwa pamoja na wanadamu and in the old covenant he says for us the son is born that means the one that will be with a human kind na nachotaka ni kuambie what i want to tell you is kama kristo ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako if indeed jesus christ is the lord and savior of your life ujue kwamba understand that una mamlaka alionayo ndani yako ni makubwa sana kuliko unavyofikiri kwa akili yako the authority that you carry within you it's it's higher and bigger than your own understanding una kristo aliye na mamlaka kuu sana kuliko unavyofikiri kwa akili yako you have the christ who have the highest authority than you can ever understand hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio maana. That's why kutambua mamlaka to able to distinguish the authority. Unahitaji kujifunza ilipo utaelewa. You need to learn to able to understand. Kuna watu wengi wanaweza kawa na gari. The mo- most people can own a car. Lakini hajui kuendesha gari. But they don't know how to to drive the car. Lakini haimaanishi kwamba hana gari. But it doesn't mean that they don't have a car. Wangapi wanaelewa kitu nasema? How many people understand what I'm saying? Wangapi wana magari lakini hawajui kuendesha wanaendeshwa na madriver wao How many people have car but they don't know how to drive uh, they have drivers to drive them around Na mkono wako Please lift up your hand if you are one of those Kila mtu ana gari na anajua kuendesha Is anyone with the car knows how to drive Sunaona huyo mtu ana ana gari lakini hajui kuendesha We see a person that have a car but cannot drive Lakini ana mamlaka but ya kumwambia have... driver wake nipeleke mahali ama gari ikafanye kazi fulani But have authority to tell the driver take me to this place or take the car to a particular place Nikuulize swali wewe ambao hujainua mkono Let me ask you a question to the one that you drive And you say you have Kama a car gari la biashara alafu wewe Unaweza kaajiri mtu sio kila siku wewe unaendesha gari la biashara. If you have a car for a business, you can hire somebody and no, you are not the one to drive that car every day. Ni sawa si sawa. Is that okay or not? Labda una basi lako linakwenda mikoani, wewe unaendesha gari basi kwenda mikoani? Maybe you have a bus that goes to to regions. Labda Will una, you be the one to drive it? Una lori lako la kubeba mizigo, kubebea watu mizigo? Or you have a truck to call r- luggages but you can't drive. Kwa nini unajua limeandikwa kwa jina lako, limesajiliwa kwa jina lako, lakini kwa kweli wewe uendesha gari kwenda huko na huko ile mpa dhamana mtu mwingine truly it's been registered on your name but you're not the one driving you have hired a person unanielewa kitu nimesema you understand what i'm saying yesu christo jesus christ ukishampokea ndani yetu once we receive him in our lives mamlaka yake ni makuu sana kuliko tunavyoweza kufikiri his authority is the most higher than we can ever understand lakini kama hatujajifunza but if we have not learned na sangine usiweze kuelewa ukuu wake and sometimes we lack to understand is a mighty power that he carries lakini ukijifunza But once you learn no, kaelewa, and understand hata akijifunua kwako he, if he review himself unakuwa himself ni rais kutumia hayo mamlaka kumbe sio wewe unatumia ni yeye ndani yako akikuongoza namna kutumia mamlaka ili uweze kupata faida it will be very easy for you to use the authority it won't be your own it comes from god but you know how to use for his name to be glorified sema amina kama umenielewa say amen if you understand hallelujah hallelujah ndio maana that is the reason katika kitabu cha Luka ukifuatilia hapo chini In the book of Luke if you, you, you follow up the story 
baada kuonyesha kwamba uwezo wa Bwana ulikuepo apate kuponya after being seen that the power of god was there for jesus could heal kafla kaletewa mtu aliyepoza immediately a parallel person was brought ukisoma hapo chini tumesoma tayari we have already read that uh, party ndugu wakaja wamembeba mpendo wao ambaye alikuwa amepooza mtu aliyepooza mwili wote hawezi kuelewa hata ukimfinya hata ukimgusa maana yake mzunguko wa damu ile haipo Uh, brothers came carrying a man that was paralyzed. You know when a person is paralyzed, even when you pinch them or do something to them, they can't feel nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndugu zake walipoona mkutano mkubwa hawezi kumfikia Yesu. When this fellow saw that there is a lot of multitude they cannot reach to Jesus Christ. Nini walichofanya? What did they do? They do what did they do? Tumesoma hapa punde tu kwamba. We read it shortly that walipanda juu ya ile nyumba they went on top of the roof biblia tuambi kwamba nyumba ile ilikuwa ya nani uh, the bible does not tell us how long that build was na walipopanda kule juu but when they go to the roof ni kama kitu wasema kama itakuwa mbaya wacha iwe mbaya maana mtu wetu hapa vinginevyo mwenye msaada ni huyu mwenye mamlaka ni huyu kwa hiyo lazima tumfikie tusipomfikia mtu wetu hawezi kupata It's as if these people were thinking in the back of their mind like whatever will be let it be because now we know this is a person that will help us and there is no other way to reach him. Ili apate msaada. For the, for this man to have a help. Tunapaswa kufanya kila namna ili atumfikie huyu Kristo. We must do everything that we can to reach Christ. Kwa hiyo wakatoboa dari wakapanda huko juu papa papa pa, wakatoboa dari ya watu ina maana kama ni vigaye wakaondoa kama ni mabati walibomoa mabati ya watu So they went to the roof if it was iron sheet they took it aside Wakachukua kamba na ile kitanda They took a, a rope and tied the bed wakateremsha and they drop down the bed Wakalenga mahali Yesu yuko And they, they, they target where Jesus was Watu wanashangaa People were wondering lakini wao nia yao ndugu yao apone but the, what is a man it's for their brother to receive help waliposhuka and when they drop the bed wakamweka hapo mbele ya Yesu they put the bed before jesus kibinadamu wale ambao labda walikuwa kwenye foli ni wataka huenda wakajisikia vibaya uh, in, 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 in a normal way in a normal situation maybe the people that came before this man they felt uncomfortable about naweza kujisikia vibaya kwa sababu huyu mtu hatujui kama amekuja saa ngapi anaingilia tuku angeenda kwa utaratibu they may be feel uncomfortable because they say we are here before this per- person and just broke all the rules here saa ya kumtaka Mungu na msaada wake acha utaratibu wako wa kibinadamu stop being severe uh, stop being a civilized once is a time to seek god and his help saa ya kumtaka mungu aliye hai mwenye mamlaka juu ya mamlaka yote acha ustarabu wako wa dini yako the time to seek for the for god that carries all the authority stop being civilized acha aibu zako stop being ashamed hallelujah hallelujah watu wengi wamekufa na shingo na kamba shingoni kwa sababu ya aibu nitaonekanaje wale watu nao wangefanya namna ndugu yao wangekufa lakini wanasema aibu kaa pembeni maana hata Yesu mwenyewe alishinda aibu akastahili msalaba akaidharau aibu akapata kuwa na jina lipitalo majina yote The time of needing help stop being ashamed because most people they die because of feeling ashamed how people will see how people say about these people if they stop uh, doing that their brother would have died because they said in their heart even Jesus Christ overcomes the shame for this he is the king of all kings Hallelujah Hallelujah Si unajua ameandikiwa kwenye kitabu cha Hebrewia 12 mstari wa pili. It's written in the book of Hebrew chapter 12 verse. Biblia inasema hivi. The Bible says. Kwa sababu ya furaha iliyowekwa mbele yake, alistahimili msalaba na kuidharau aibu. Because of the joy that was placed ahead of him, he despised the shame and they endured the cross. Watu wengi wamekosa msaada wa kusaidiwa na Yesu Kristo hata kama wanamtaja usiku na mchana kwa sababu wamejaa aibu. Watu watatuonaje. Nikiomba hivi nikinyenyekea hivi itakuwaje sikiliza wale watu hawakuona aibu na ndugu yao wakaponywa most people they have lacked the help because they feel shy they say ah how, if i ask this how people will judge me but these people were not shy they did what they were supposed to do for their uh, brother to have help walipomfikisha mbele ya Yesu Kristo when they drop him before Jesus Christ Yesu alichoangalia what Jesus looked at hakumwangalia huyu aliyepoza he did not look at the person that was paralyzed because the paralyzed man was not aware where he was taken yamkini aliambiwa hapa ni mkutano wa Yesu 
Kristo. Maybe he was told that here there is a gathering of Jesus Christ. Huyu ndio anayesaidia wanadamu wote kwa ajili yetu yeye ndiye aliyezaliwa. Maybe he was told that this is a man that helps all mankind for us he was born. Walisoma agano la kale. They read the Old Testament. Mahali tulikosoma katika Isaya 61. Where we just read shortly in Isaiah Isaiah 9 chapter uh, chapter 6. Na pia Isaya 61 na moja msari wa kwanza na wa pili pia. And Isaiah 61 verse 1 and 2. Hao watu walikuwa wamesoma huyu ni atakuwa ni mtu wa namna gani? These people already read what a kind of a person that Jesus was. Kwa sababu ilikuwa ni agano jipya sasa. Because now it was a new covenant. Lakini Yesu alinenewa tangu agano la kale na kina Isaya nabii. But the Isaiah prophet already spoke about the coming of Jesus Christ. Ndio maana anasema. That's why he says. Kwa ajili yenu for you mtoto amezaliwa a child is born na uweza wa kifalme utakuwa mabegani mwake and the authority of god will be on his shoulder ni mshauri wa ajabu mungu mwenye nguvu is a wonderful counselor a mighty god ni mfalme wa amani is a prince of peace alijua hata kama haumwi magonjwa he, lakini anaweza kakushauri uchumi wako na watoto wako ukapasi ah He knew that you may, you may be not sick but he can cancel you about your business and reach to the goals. Maana sio kila mtu anayekuja kanisani ana shida ya ugonjwa. Because it's not everyone comes to church is sick. Lakini watu waompi Yesu nafasi ya kuwashauri. But people doesn't give God the opportunity to give them a device. Yeye anasema ni mshauri wa ajabu Mungu mwenye nguvu. The Bible say he's a wonderful counselor, a powerful God. Ndio maana anasema katika kitabu cha Methali. That's why he say in the book of Proverbs. Sura ya 8 na mstari wa 14. Chapter 8 and verse 14. Biblia nasema. The Bible says, Mimi ni ufahamu. I am understanding. Mimi nina nguvu. I am powerful. Mungu aliyeziumba mbingu na nchi. The God that created the heavens and earth. Anajifunua ajiti yeye ni Mungu anajiita yeye ni ufahamu. He introduced himself doesn't call himself God. He called himself understanding. Alafu anasema mimi nina nguvu. And he say I am powerful. Kwa hiyo awaye yote aliye na Kristo Yesu. So whoever that carries Jesus Christ. Au mwenye kumtaka Yesu Kristo. If you really seek for Jesus Christ. Hata kama si wa dini ya Kristo. Even if you don't belong to the Christianity. Anaweza kakushauri na ukafanikiwa. He can be a wonderful counselor to you Lakin and they can be a prosper. mbinguni utakataliwa. Umeanielewa kitu nimesema? Do you understand what I'm saying? Anasema kwa ajili yetu mtoto amezaliwa. He say for us the son is born. Na yeye ni mshauri wa ajabu Mungu mwenye nguvu. And he's a wonderful counselor, a powerful God. Sikiliza nikwambie. Listen and let me tell you. Unaweza Yesu hata kama wewe si wa dini ya Kikristo. You can approach Jesus even if you're not a Christian. Na ukaona matunda yake. And see the result of the fruit. Bwana ni shauri ni nifanyeje niweze kufaulu juu ya jambo hili. You can ask him please help me what to do here about this thing. Atakushauri. He will advise you. Na ushauri wake hauwezi kufeli kamwe. And his advice can never fail ever. Lakini kama ni kutahadharishe. But let me Siku ya mwisho ya kwenda mbinguni. On the day of going to heaven. Kama hujamkiri yeye kuwa bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako. If you have not receive him to be the savior and lord in your life. Mungu hautaziona kama. You will never see heavens. Maana ni jina tulilopewa lipitalo majina yote. Because it is the only name that we are given the name above all names. Na Yesu anasema kila atakaye mkiri hatamkiri mbele ya baba yake. And Jesus say whoever that will receive me I'm gonna uh, introduce them to my father. Na Biblia inasema Yesu Kristo ndiye njia ya kweli na uzima. Mtu haji kwa baba isipokuwa kwa njia ya mimi. And as the Bible say Jesus Christ is the way and true and no one who sees the father without Jesus Christ. Ukitaka kwenda mbinguni lazima uokoke. If you want to go to heaven you must surrender your life Hata to Christ. Hata kama na dini yangu lazima niokoke. Even if you have your religion you must Hautake surrender to Jesus. Kuoka sawa mbinguni hutaiona kamwe. If you don't want to be saved you will never see the heaven. Hebu sema amina hata kama Say amen please. Say amen. Utaki kumpokea Yesu kuwa bwana na mwokozi na kuambia wewe ishi mwanadamu pewa miaka 100, pewa miaka sabini, pewa miaka mbili lakini siku kifa hakika jehana na kungoja. Maana Yesu ni jina lilopewa wanadamu kuokolewa kwalo pasipo Yesu hakuna wokovu. Let me tell you if you don't receive Jesus Christ to be the Lord and Savior of your life be given a long life you can live you can live many years to a 200 but the day you die surely you go to Hades because you never see heaven because Jesus is the only name that we were given to be saved the name above all names 
So once you come to Jesus Christ, you, you, you may benefit. You may be prospered. You may be healed. He can counsel you. And you can see the benefit of it. He gave the advice to Pharaoh. A person that was not a Christian. You remember Joseph? When he was in Egypt. And God was working with Joseph. Mwisho Mungu alitaka kile alichoahidi kwa Yusufu ili kitimie alipita hayo mapito yote wasomaji wa Biblia lakini mwisho akafungwa gereza na mwisho akatokea wapi akatokea hekaluni akatokea kwenye kasri la mfalme Farao God wanted to keep his promise to Joseph therefore he went through hardships but he was taken to the prison but after that God opened the door for Joseph and he appeared to the white house Wangapi wanaelewa kitu nasema How many people understand what I'm talking about Aliyoitwa mshauri wa ajabu Mungu mwenye nguvu imeandikwa kwenye agano la jipya au agano la kale The wonderful counselor the mighty God written in the Old Testament Testament. Even Pharaoh was in the Old Testament. How did he cancel Pharaoh? Before Joseph go and they interpret his dream, God appeared to Pharaoh that he didn't know Jesus Christ. He talked to him about seven years of hunger and seven years of full of food. Is that okay or not? That, God, that dream came from God. I'm asking you where did that dream come from? Eh? From God. Yes, Kamungu. Kwa hiyo Mungu alianzisha wazo la kutaka wa Misri wasiangamie na njaa. Kwa hiyo akamfuata kiongozi wao ambaye atamsikiliza. Kwa hiyo alipoota hizo ndoto ikawa shida kuzitafsiri, akaita wachawi wote, akaita waganga wote, akaita wanajimu wote hawakufanikiwa. Mwisho wakamkumbuka Yusufu na Yusufu akaja kutafsiri hiyo ndoto na kutoka hapo Farao akamuinua cheo cha juu na Misri ikawa kimbilio watu kwenda kupona njaa kibina Adam. So God brought the idea for the people of Egypt not to die with hunger. He gave the king the dream and he brought Joseph to translate uh, the, the dream and from there that Egypt country became the country that people ran to have food. When it comes to the kingdoms duniani under the sun msimamizi mkuu ni Mungu aliye hai the master supervisor is God himself ila watu wengi wanamuona Yesu kama utaratibu wa kidini but most people take Jesus like uh, the procedure of religion ama utaratibu wa madhehebu yao or just a procedure of some religions or churches Mungu anapokaa kama mfalme when God sits like a, a king anaweza kumtumia Nebukadnezar he can use Nebukadnezar na akawa pamoja na Mungu akamuonyesha and he can walk with God and God lead him Nebukadnezar Nebukadnezar Alinuliwa ili wakati wana Israeli wanapokosea ili warudishwe na Mungu anainuliwa kwenda kuwapiga wana Israeli ndipo wana Israeli wanamlilia Mungu na Mungu anarudi tena upande wa wana Israeli ili kuambia msinikosee maana mimi niko pamoja na nini Nebuchadnezzar was raised by God for he could punish the Israelites because they went against God so they can weep to God and God can restore them to the system Wangapi wananifuatilia How many people are following this Wangapi wanaelewa How many people understand Ukimwelewa Yesu kwa upana huo If you understand Jesus to this Unaweza kumfaidi na dunia hii ukawe mtu wa pekee sana. You can benefit Jesus under the sun and be an amazing or different person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na wengi ambao wa leo walio wakuwa wagonjwa uwezo wa Bwana utakuepo hapa kukuponya. And to the people that are here and they are sick, the my power of God is here to heal you. Na wale ambao and those that hawajui wafanye nini they don't know what to do yesu yuko hapa kwa ajili ya kukushauri jesus is here to counsel yeye ni mshauri wa ajabu mungu mwenye nguvu he's a wonderful counselor the powerful god na akikushauri kwa neno lake linalolisema and if he counsel you through the word of god that you're talking about chacho unapokubaliana na nikaomba after a short while and you are willing and the man of god begin to pray yesu wa bwana utakuepo kukufuatilia unakuepo the power of god gonna follow you and set you free Do you understand what I'm saying? Uweza wa Bwana utakuepo ili kufuatana pamoja na wewe. The mighty power of the Lord is will be here to fall upon you. Let's read in the book of Isaiah before we Isaiah finish. Isaiah 61. 
Kama ufiko useme amina. If you're there please say amen. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Mstari wa kwanza na wa pili. Verse 1 and 2. Roho ya Bwana hii juu yangu kwa sababu Bwana amenitia mafuta ni wahubiri wa nyenyekevu habari njema amenituma ili kuwaganga waliovunjika moyo kuwatangazia mateka uhuru wao na hao waliofungwa habari ya kufunguliwa kwao kutangaza mwaka wa Bwana waliokubaliwa na siku ya kisasi cha Bwana ama cha Mungu wetu kuwafariji wote waliao The spirit of uh, sovereign Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the good gospel to the poor and to set free the bind uh, people and to comfort the broken hearted to proclaim the year of God to save the day of revenge of our God to comfort all who rams and the uh, provide the provide to those who given in their to given in Zion. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pray the Lord Jesus. Uwepo wa Mungu unapokuepo sawa sawa na Luka 5:17. When the power of God is is omni according to the book of Unaitwa uweza wa Bwana ulikuepo apate kuponya. Because the the power of God was there for he could be able to heal. Kuponya kuna tafsiri nyingi uponywa mili kuponywa ndoa kuponywa fikra kuponywa aina mbalimbali za uchumi kuponywa maisha yako kuponywa mazingira unayokaa kuna upana sana wa kuponywa healing is very wide you can be you can receive healing on your healthy or your mindset or your business or anything because healing is very wide Biblia nasema kuwatangazia mateka uhuru wao. The Bible say to proclaim freedom to the captives. Kwa hiyo mahali popote ambapo umetekwa kwa kujua kutokujua kwenye ulimwengu wako wa roho, ulimwengu wako wa kibinadamu, leo unatangaziwa uhuru wako. So anywhere that you've been taken captive in the spiritual realm and the physical one, today God is proclaiming a freedom upon your life. Na hao waliofungwa Biblia nasema habari ya kufunguliwa kwao. Leo ni siku yako ya kufunguliwa pia. And to those that are abound today is your day of being freed. Msari wa pili nasema kutangaza mwaka wa Bwana waliokubalika. Uh, the, the, uh, verse 2 it say to proclaim the year of the Lord that is being proven. Kuanzia tarehe ya leo tangu mwaka ulipoanza mwaka wako unakwenda kukubalika katika jina la Yesu. From the day that the year started your year is going to be approved by God in Jesus name. Biblia sema na siku ya kisasi cha Mungu wetu kama watu miaka yote walikuumiza walikufanyia vitu ambavyo sivyo wakawa na nguvu zidi yako Biblia ananiambia na siku ya kisasi cha Mungu watu wengi Mungu anakwenda kupigana kisasi chao na si wewe tena utakayepigana And also the Bible say in the day of revenge of our God for all people that have been fighting uh, God is going to take the revenge to fight our enemies Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na wale ambao wa Mungu aliwapa kushinda mwaka 20 23 kuingia 20 24 watu wengi walishinda kwa kishindo. Maana yake walimtegemea Mungu zile mbinu adui alizozipanga zilishindikana. Lakini sasa mwaka 20 24 wanataka kuleta malipizi ili onekane Mungu gani aligusaidia. Malipizi Mungu anaenda kupigana na malipizi kutoka leo. And to those that depend on God on the year of 2023 they have been fighting a lot and God gave them the power to overcome everything but the enemy want to bring revenge in this year for people to able to say uh, what kind of God that gave you the power look what is happening around God is going to fight uh, pay the revenge to our enemies Biblia nasema mstari ule wa pili mwishoni nasema kuwafariji wote waliao And as the Bible say in the last line of the verse 2 it say to comfort all of those who are morning kuwa fariji wote waliao waliolia to comfort all that have been crying watu waliomizwa wakao wanalia kama vile hawana mtu wa kuwasaidia na wakaonekana kama vituko ni mwaka wa kufutwa machozi yako there are people that have been mourning here and there and they don't have people to comfort them This year is a year of comforting. Ni mwaka wa kufutwa machozi yako kwa ajili ya watoto wako. Is a year of your eyes to be weeping 
away from tears to you and your children. Your tears are going to be wiped in the eyes of your children. Ndiyo maana Isaiah still That's why Isaiah 60 Haya ndio mambo yanaenda kutokea kwako. This is what is going to happen to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hapo tulisoma Isaiah 61 Isaiah 60 nyuma yake. We read the Isaiah 61 now we are going back to Isaiah 60. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Msari wa kwanza na wa pili na wa tatu maneno haya yanakuhusu wewe. Verse 1, 2 and 3 these words it's for you. Ondoka uangaza kwa kuwa nuru yako imekuja na utukufu wa Bwana umekuzukia. Arise and shine for the light have come and the glory of God have risen upon you. Sasa ninapoomba sasa. The time that the man of God is going to pray. Wa bwana utakufunika wa kukufanikisha na jina lako linakwenda kutofautishwa. The power of God gonna cover you to able to to make your ways be prosperous. Biblia nasema mstari wa pili. The Bible says in second chapter. Maana tazama Uh, for C. Anabasema maana is when he says C. Ikawekwa koma and the words a new key there. Biblia ina maana yake. Biblical it have a meaning. Nasema maana maana yake kwa sababu. For that reason. Kwa hayo. For what happened? Tazama. Now C. Ikawekwa koma. There is a door. Tazama. C. Maana yake angalia. That means look. Angalia. Look. Giza litafunika dunia the darkness gonna cover the earth na giza kuu litafunika kabila za watu and the, da- the, the darkness gonna cover people's tribe bali bwana atakuzukia wewe but the lord will arise upon na utukufu wake utaonekana juu yako and his glory gonna be upon you hata kama you. utasikia matukio kwa wengine even if you gonna hear news to other people ni kama uharibifu unaendelea kwa wengine as if there is a power to destroy you lakini nakutangazia katika jina la Yesu Kristo nuru ya bwana inakuwa juu ya maisha yako but i proclaim this to you in the name of jesus that the power the light of god gonna be upon your life kwa wale ambao nakumbuka mwaka jana kwenye ile maombi Mungu amekuwekea alama ya ajabu sana kanisa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. To those that remember the last year prayer we, da- we did in the last month of December God has put a mark in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na watu wengi watajilia nuru yako. And the most people gonna come for your life. Kwa maana biaza na mataifa watajilia nuru yako. The Bible say a nation will come for your life. Na wafalme watajilia mwanga wa kuzu- kwako and the nation will come for the light of your Mungu anaelezea watu wa aina mbalimbali ambao watakufuatilia na kujua mtu huyu mtu huyu si mtu wa kawaida mtu huyo ni mtu anaweza kukushauri mtu huyu ni mtu anayefanikiwa mtu huyu ni mtu anayekaa salama mtu huyu ni mtu ambaye yuko na Mungu alia hai God is taking to you that most people gonna follow you because of the light they gonna understand this is not an, an a normal person I want to tell you utakuwa salama you be safe unakwenda kufanikiwa you're going to be prospered haijalishi wangapi walifanikiwa kabla yako regardless of how many people have been prospered before you na wakaonekana wao ndio wameshika chati tu peke yao as i've been seeing as if they are the only people that will be blessed lakini nataka nikwambie but i want to tell you unakwenda kupita kama basi la kisasa you're going to pass like a new technologic bus hallelujah Hallelujah. Hebu sema amina kama unanielewa. Please say amen if you understand. Kwa nini uweza wa Bwana uko juu yako? Why? It's because the power of God is upon you. Kwa nini uweza wa Bwana wa kubadilisha mambo uko juu yako? Why? Because the power of God to transform things is upon you. Hallelujah. 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 Mali popote walipokuchafua. Anywhere that you've been contaminated. Mali popote And anywhere that they destroyed you. Njia zako za kiroho. Your spiritual ways. Maisha yako utu wako. Your life, your personality. Mungu yuko tayari kukuosha kabla achiachilia uweza wake. God is ready to clean before he release his power. Yeye ni mfalme wa amani. He is a prince of peace. Anatembea mahali moyo ukitulia. He walks when the heart is composed. Anatembea mahali moyo unapomtegemea unapomuita mtu. When the heart is composed and call upon him. Wakati ambapo mtu huyo anaita moyo wake unaita juu ya Mungu. When the heart of this person is calling on God. 
Sema Mungu Baba. Say Lord Jesus. Nimelisikia neno lako. I have heard your word. Mahali popote ambapo nimekutenda dhambi. Anywhere that I have seen against you. Adu yakanifunga. An enemy binds me. Adu yakanizuia. And the enemy blocked me. Njia zangu za kiroho. My spiritual passes. Njia zangu za kutembea na wewe. The ways that I could walk with you. Njia zangu za kimaisha. My ways of life. Njia zangu za uzao. The way of my outspring. Njia za kazi zangu. The ways of my workplaces. Bwana ninatubu mbele za uso wako. Lord I repent before you. Naombo unioshe kwa damu yako. I'm asking you to wash me with your blood. Niwe safi kama olivyo safi. So I can be clean like how you are clean. Maana wewe ni mtakatifu safi. Because you are holy. Ili upate kunisogelea. For you can approach me. Ili upate kunikaribia. For you can come closer to me. Hivyo nisamee dhambi zangu e Bwana. Therefore forgive my sin O oh Lord. Nisamee na makosa yangu e Bwana. Forgive all my wrong doings Lord. Kutoka sasa. From this moment. Naomba nianze pamoja na wewe. I'm asking to start over with you. Uyaongoze maisha yangu sasa. Lead my life from this point forward. Na jina langu liandike katika kitabu cha uzima. And write my name in the book of life. Hivyo naonisamee dhambi zangu zote. Forgive all my sins. Na ulifute jina langu. And I delete my name. Katika kitabu cha hukumu. In the book of judgment cha shetani of Satan liandike jina langu katika kitabu chako cha uzima write my name in your book of life na kwenye mitanga vya mikono yako which is the palm of your hand asante kwa kunisikia thank you for hearing me na sasa damu yako initakase now allow your blood to clean me ili unikaribie so you can come close to me na uwepo wako na uweza wako niweze kunikalia for the power under your presence to be upon me katika jina la Yesu Kristo in the name of Jesus Christ asante bwana thank you lord nyosha mikono yako juu lift up your hands nyosha tu mikono yako lift up your hands nami nataka nimwambie bwana ashuke and i'm going to invite god to descend bwana yesu Lord Jesus Bwana wa Mungu wa utukufu the Lord of all glory wewe uliokuweko tangu misingi ya ulimwengu haijakuweko to you that you existed before the world existed nimelinena neno lako i have spoken your word na watoto wako wamelisikia and your children have heard na wale wote wanaotufuatilia and all that are following us wamesikia pia they have heard also na baba wamekiria kwamba hawawezi bila wewe and they have uh, uh, agree that they cannot do anything without achomba What I'm asking wasamehe forgive them na watakase and they purify them na damu iliyomwagika msalabani and the damn that the blood that you shed on the cross na kutoka hapa sasa and from this point forward naomba ufungue mbingu kuhudumia watu wako I'm asking you to open the heaven and attend to your people na malaika wako pande zote nne wakashuke e Bwana and your angels from all four side to descend oh God kuwapigania vita wale ambao walishindwa kupigana vita to fight the battle to those that couldn't fight the battle kuwapigania vita wale ambao walikoseshwa uhuru wao to fight the battle of those who have been misled na wale walio freedom na majini and those that have been bound by demons kana vita upande wao e bwana fight the battle on the side Nani lord tukufu wa jina la yesu mwana and this is for your glory is the glory of the sun jesus Asante christ kwa kunisikia thank you for hearing na me na sasa naomba ukatende and now i'm asking you to do it katika jina la yesu christo in the name of jesus christ baba father ninaomba sasa i'm asking now shughulika na mtu mmoja mmoja deal with each and every person maana unamjua mtu mmoja mmoja because you know each and every of them wewe ni mshauri wa ajabu you are the wonderful counselor kwa wale waliokoseshwa bwana to those that have been misled oh lord unaweza kawashauri ndani yao you can counsel within them na wakaelewa wanasema nini and they could understand what you are telling them maana sasa tuko ndani ya uwepo wako because now we are in your presence asante kwa kunisikia thank you for hearing me na wale ambao and those that ndugu zao they are family members walikotoka the generation where they come from walimwabudu shetani they worship satan hawakukutafuta mungu wa kweli they have not seek for the truly god na hali hiyo and, the, and the therefore imepelekea sasa ndugu hawa baadhi yao it have caused to some of these people 
ambao wako hapa that are in this place watoto wao wanapita mahali pagumu they are children are passing through hard things watoto wao wanashindwa kufikia kwenye hatima yao their children cannot reach to their destinies na kila wakati watoto wanapata mashambulizi mabaya and every time their children are facing uh, attacks of satan kwa sababu ni malipizi juu ya vizazi vilivyopita kwa sababu haulikuwa hawaja kuabudu wewe Mungu wa kweli because it's a payback of the generation that passes that did not worship you the true God kwa hiyo majini yana halali juu yao so demons have legal right over yana them they are passing kids in their ways they are persecuting their ways they are living on mili yao is destroying their ways lakini kwa kuwa umeona ya bwana destroy because you have seen it all ndio shuka kupigana vita i'm asking you to descend and fight the battle yale majini destroy those demons nasema sasa na majini i'm talking now to these demons yaliyofunga watoto hawa that binds these children yaliyofunga familia hii that binds this family kwa jina la yesu kristo in the name of jesus christ mahali popoto lipo anywhere that you may be uweza wa bwana uko hapa the power of god is in this place ni nguvu ya kimamlaka is the power of the authority yenye kuharibu kila nguvu za that destroy every power of the enemies Come out. Talker. Kuna watu wametoa sadaka nyingi sana. There are people that gave them amount of, uh, of offering or sacrifice. Mungu anaambia wewe unahitaji toba na si sadaka nyingi. God says you need repentance not offering. Kwa sababu halali wa mizimu ya kwenu ndio inayokupiga. Because it is the legality of the the, 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 the gods of your land that is punishing you. Kutoka sasa? From this moment. Ni sasa hivi. It's right now. Bwana ameshuka. God have descend. Ninaona malaika wenye panga za moto. I see angels with the sword of fire kukatilia mbali nguvu ya majini zilizoabudiwa kama mizimu miaka ya nyuma to cut down all the power of the idols that have been worshiped back years na inatesa watoto wako and is tormenting your children inatesa kwa kuvimba it torment them by soul inatesa kwa kuwanyanganya elimu zao it torment them by taking them away of the kwa jina la Yesu Kristo i say in the name of Jesus Christ come out poka come out poka Ninaona watoto waliowekewa mpaka. I see children that have been put at a boundary before them. Mpaka wa safari zao za elimu. A, a boundary of their education journey. Wanapigwa na kitu ambacho wanashindwa kuelewa. They be hit by something that I don't even know. Hayo ni majini. Those are demons. Ambao wanageuka kama mizimu. That turn to be idols. Na sababu yake. And the reason is. Vizazi vyenu vya nyuma. The back back generation where you come from. Shetani. They worship Satan. Havikumtaka Mungu wa kweli. They did not know they did not want the true God. Wale watu ambao wana namna hiyo. Those this kind of people. Ambao watoto wao wamepita kwenye mateso. They are children of passes through persecution. Na wakati mwingine wanachanganya ufahamu mpaka wanapotea. Sometimes they have been confused until they disappear. Nasema kwa uweza wa Bwana. I say it by the power of the Lord. Ni nguvu na pita nguvu zote. Is the power that overpasses all powers. Iharibike kutoka sasa. To destroy right now. Ninaharibu chanzo cha. I destroy the source. Ninaharibu nguvu ya. I destroy the power. Ninaharibu mamlaka yao. I destroy the authority. Come out. Toka. Come out. Toka. Pepo tumbo. The demons are hold the stomach. Pepo tumbo. The demons are hold the stomach. Aliyeka kwenye tumbo. Sitting on the stomach. Nasema na pepo tumbo. I'm talking to the demons that are sitting on the stomach. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In the mighty name of Jesus. Out. Toka. Come out. Toka. Out. Toka. Mateso ya macho. The torment of eyes. Mateso ya macho. Torment of eyes. Kuna mtu ana shida ya macho. Someone is suffering with eyesight. Shika macho yako wewe mwenye shida ya macho. Touch your eyes to the one that you're suffering from eyes. Ninaona kwenye kope kwa ndani. I see on your eyelashes. Nguvu ambayo umeachiliwa kama kitu Cheusi. A power that is released like something very black. Na ninapotoa hivyo. And as a man of God is pulling out. Ndio nafunguliwa macho yako. This is how God is setting you free. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Haribu nguvu ya kuharibu macho. I destroy the power that destroys Haribu eyes. Haribu nguvu ya kuharibu macho yako. I destroy the power that destroys your eyes. Macho yako ya rohoni na ya mwili. Your spiritual eyes and physical eyes. Out. Toka. Bwana anakufungua macho yako. The Lord is setting you free. Bwana anakufungua lezi za macho yako. The Lord is setting free your eyes. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Toka. Mitego ya kisasi. The 
the traps of vengeance. Kuna watu walioshinda 2023. There are people that overcome 2023. Wananiambia walishinda kwa kishindo. God says they overcome with a high victory. Walimwangalia Mungu na wakamfuatilia Mungu. They followed God and they hold on him. Na wakavuka salama. And they cross over safely. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ninaona roho ya kisasi. I see the payback river. Kama Pharaoh alivyowafuatilia wanaweza ibada wanaweza likutolewa Misri. Like how Pharaoh followed the Israelites when God took them from Egypt. Awaye yote? Whoever person that is here. Anafuatiliwa na roho ya kisasi. Have been followed up by payback spirit. Kisasi cha magonjwa. Spirit of payback of sickness. Kisasi cha mauti. Payback of death. Kisasi cha ajali. Payback of accident. Kisasi cha faraka. Payback of conflict. Inaharibu hiyo roho ya kisasi. I destroy the power of payback. Inaharibu hiyo roho ya kisasi. I destroy the power of payback. Come out. Talk out. Roho ya kisasi ondoka juu ya watu. The power of payback disappear away from you. Be uprooted upon them. Hakuna mauti tena. There is no death. Hakuna ajali. There is no accident. Hakuna kuzuiliwa tena njia zako. There won't be obstacles in their their passes. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baba natakasa familia hii. Father I purify this family. Maono yao yakatimia kutoka sasa. Let their dream be fulfilled from this moment. Maono yao yakatimia kutoka sasa. Let their dream be fulfilled from this moment. Maono ya kwake binafsi, maono ya familia yake, maono ya watoto wao. Personal dreams, uh, dreams of family or dreams Katika for the children. Jina la Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wakashinde zaidi ya kushinda. Let them have victory and over victory. Na mkono wako kawe juu yao. And your hand to be upon them. Wale waliozuiliwa na wafungua wasizuiliwe tena. To those that have been blocked, I free them from the obstacles. Wale walionyimwa uhuru wao na tamko uhuru wao katokezee kwa jina la Yesu. To those that was, when they didn't have the freedom, I I declare freedom upon them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hilo naloona gumu leo ni siku yako. Hilo naloliona ni gumu leo ni siku yako. The thing that you see it difficult today is the day. Lilo lilo lionea ibu kwa wanadamu muda mrefu leo ni siku yako. To what you been feeling shy about the people to what day problem you have today is the day God is going to see you. Hayo ndio ambio tolea sadaka na ukatoa pesa nyingi sana leo ni siku yako. To what you have been told for this give a lot of offering a, a big amount of offering today is the day God will see you through. Hakuna lisila wezekana. There is nothing that is impossible. Wewe kama ni mgonjwa wa mwili if you're here and you're sick na unajisikia mwili wako una shida. And you feel problem in your body. Ama viungo vyako vina shida. Or your joints have problem. Wakati naimba wimbo huu utakuja hapa mbele. As we are singing this song please step forward. Uweza wa Bwana uko mahali hapa kwa ajili ya kuponya. You, you, the power of God is in this place to heal. Uweza wa Bwana ulikuepo apate kuponya. The power of God is on this place to heal. Baba ninakushukuru kwa sababu ya watu wako. 
Father, I thank you for your people. Yale yasiyowezekana mwanadamu yanawezekana kwako. It was impossible for mankind to you is possible. There are so many things that I couldn't do it by themselves. But you are the living God that heals. Leo ni siku ya watoto wako. Today is a day for your children. Achilio wepo wako tena. Release your power once Achilio again. Achilio weza wako tena. Release your mighty power. Nguvu ya kimamlaka. And the power of the authority. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Na kila alia na mateso. And whoever that is suffering. Mateso ya kondoke. The suffering should disappear. Kila alia na misiba ya rohoni. Whoever is grieving in the heart. Misiba ya kondoke. Let the grieving disappear. Kila walio filisiwa barakaza. To whoever that have been bankrupt blessings restore your their blessings kila walio umizwa whoever that have been hurt kaondoe maumivu hayo take away the pain na watakasa i purify them kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo by the blood of Jesus Christ na kuwafungua and i set them free na kuachilia ulinzi wako juu yao and i release your protection upon them katika jina la Yesu Kristo in the name of Jesus Christ Uweza wako wa kifalme your might power ukawe juu ya watoto wako to be upon your children uweza wako wa kifalme your might power ukawe juu ya watoto wako to be upon your children uweza wako wa kuharibu nira zote your power to destroy all kind of chain ukawe juu ya watoto wako to be upon your children Namkosa kosa. Unamkosa kosa? Namkosa kosa. Anatusumbua. Anawasumbua. Umekuja kwa njia gani wewe mzimu? To what way do you come here? Through kwa njia ndoto. Umemuingia kwa njia ndoto. Eh. Yeah. Alafu mkakaa wapi? Kwenye shingo yake. On his neck. Kwenye shingo yake. Na ufahamu wake. Na ufahamu. And his mindset. Ah. Nani? So, eh? Huyu ni hatari sumbe. Ni hatari. Sumbe ni hatari. Sema moja. Sema mbili mzimu yondoke. 
Sema tatu na mwisho. Say three and final. Ka! Toka. Oka huru. He's free. This is Where you from? Where is To destroy you idols. Where is the husband? Where is the husband? Where is the husband? You remember I told you to bring your wife. Yeah. 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 Au hajui. Maybe they know or they don't know. Mizimu inayetafuta maisha yako. Inayetafuta uhai wako. Inayekuzulia ndoa yako, inayezulia watoto. Block your marriage. Nasema na mizimu. I'm talking to the idols. Nasema na mizimu. I'm talking to the idols. Anakufunguliwa huyu na wewe unafunguliwa. Sema moja. Say one. Sema mbili. Say two. Sema tatu na mwisho. Say three and five. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's why I say there are people suffering the children. In the spiritual, in the physical, you see, it's your kids. It's like they're confused. They don't go like how other kids are going. 
Alafu umemwekea nini tumboni? And what do you Huyo umemwekea nini tumboni? What have you put in her stomach? Wawili wetu wawili. Huyo umemwekea nini tumboni? What have you put in his in her stomach? Ah ah uvimbe. Uvimbe. Uvimbe uvimbe. Una uvimbe? Uvimbe. Kwa nini umemwekea uvimbe? Why have you put him in her stomach? Ah anahangaika nao sana afe. Unataka afe? Afe. They want her to kill nao sana afe. Kwa nini unataka kumuua uvimbe? So you want to kill her with him? Afe. Kwa nini? Why? Ana ataka wale watoto warudishe. Ah ah. Oh. Ah ah wawili tumemwachia wawili. Wawili na wakume. Wawili na wakume. Uweza wa Bwana upo kwa ajili ya kuvunja ni razeni. Sema moja. Say one. Sema mbili. Say two. Sema tatu na mwisho. Say three and final. Come on. Poka. Na uvimbe uyeyuke kutoka leo. Come melt from this place. Poka. By the power of the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord. You're free. Utableed damu nyingi, blam nyingi, damu nyingi. Kwenda alafu tarudi kwa daktari na kuta uvimbe hamna. When you go back to the hospital, the doctor will find that tumor is gone. giant spirit poker poker moja mbili tatu poker 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 kwa jina kula yesu Boxawio. <laughs> Sasa bimeumana ndani ya chumba. <laughs> Wewe nani? Who are you? We... Haya. Ai ai. <laughs> Wewe mtu alienda Olympic kupiga. <laughs> Jamani boxer yuko hapa. 
There is a bouncer here one to five. Bona wafata watu mshom. Why are you eh? following the servants of God? Niangalie mimi hapa. Look at me here. Kuja hapa. Come here. Unataka kuzipiga ngumi? You want to fight? Eh? Kuja hapa. Come here. Pigana na mimi. No. Why no? No. Why no? I don't. Anatafuta watumishi wangu yeye hataki mimi. Nataka tuzipige na mimi hapa. Fight with me. No. No. Kuja. Come. Kuja. Na mshindilie moja. Sema moja. Say one. Sema mbili. Say two. Sema tatu na mwisho. Three and five. Come out. Yo 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 bye. There we go. Always the, the spirit of fight that is in her I cannot get it. You can't uh, have patience. You can't forgive. That spirit causes her to be poor. From today you're free. What reason you want to kill her? Mauti ondoka. Mauti moja kwa moja usirudi tena. Death, Amen. Get out and never come back in Jesus name.
get up if you can stand in Jesus name Mwanangu Mwanangu Ndiyo Ana shida gani? Ana umu Nini? Shida ya figo mapafu na upungufu He has kidney problem and ribs problem Awezi Walk. Walk and walk. Let go of the stick. You say he couldn't walk. And what the doctor said, he has a shida ya mapafu. He goes in the family. He has a shida 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 in the family. Unafanya, unafanya njia basi pona njia Jehova nina Walio shindwa kupenya 20-23 Mwaka 20-24 Na achilio penyo na kufunguli wakwako Katika jina la Yesu I release a breakthrough in the year of 2024 In Jesus name Na fungua baraka zako katika jina la Yesu I open your blessings in the name of Jesus Na kufungulia njia zako zilizo zuiliwa kwa hila katika jina la Yesu I free your ways in the name of Jesus Kutoka sasa wewe ni mbarikiwa From this moment you are a blessing person Yale yalio shindikana ulio katiwa tamaa Bwana ameondoa ibwa na kufuta machozi katika jina la Yesu. The impossible the things I made you give up God have removed them in the name of Jesus. Mwambie mwanzako ni mwaka wa kufutwa machozi. Tell your neighbor is a year that our tears will be Mwambia white. Mwambie tena ni mwaka wa kufutwa machozi na Mungu. Is a year of tears to be white by God. Hebu sema amina kubwa kama na mielewa. Amen, 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 amen. Shangilia Yesu kwa makosa. Make some noise for God.
Baba nina kushukuru kwa sababu ya ibada hii. Father thank you for today's devotion. Kwa sababu uweza wako uko pamoja na watu wako sasa. For your mighty power is with your people now. Na uende pamoja na wao kwa uweza huu Bwana. May you go with them with this power oh Lord. Na nguvu yako ya kuwafungua na kuwatakasa na kuwafungulia njia zikawe pamoja na wao. And the power to deliver and, and clean them go with them. Na watu wanaotufuatilia kwa njia ya mtandao Baba nimefungua baraka zao na njia zao. And the one that follow us by media may I open the doors in Jesus name. Yote asipate nafasi tena katika maisha yao. Any torment should not get an opportunity in their life. Nina chilia wepesi na furai sio koma katika jina la Yesu. I release joy and and the lightness in their life. Hebu mtu mmoja na aseme amina. May somebody say amen.